I'm Brian Murray, and today's hot topic is about new agents in the market. Right here in the Wall Street Journal, this is Monday, March 22nd, so here we are uh, in that week shooting the show, but Monday, March 22nd, front page, front page of the Wall Street Journal, you see this is the front page right here, and this part right here, I'm gonna read the headline. Real estate agents outnumber homes for nationwide for sale nationwide. Real estate agents outnumber homes for sale nationwide. Let me tell you what that means. That means there are more realtors right now than homes for sale. Let that sink in for a minute. That if every realtor sold a home, there would be more homes for sale. That means that on average, each realtor is able to sell less than one home on what's currently in the market. Couple that with um, a lot of the change in the COVID economy and a lot of people getting into real, to, real estate. They're getting in because one, hey, the real estate market is hot in a lot of segments. Number two, they think it's easy money. Number three, it's a low barrier to entry. So what does that mean? It means a flood of new agents are coming in at a time when there isn't that many uh, properties out there for, for sale. So what does that leave you the buyer with or the seller with? As a buyer, you know, that new agent might be really, really hungry and, and jumping through hoops for you, but they don't have any skill. They don't have the 19 years of skill that I've put into the business to understand the local market, to understand the process and the agents and all of the various um, things to win a bidding war and to really look at your pre-approval letter, uh, to understand what attorneys to use, to have relationships with our other agents, to understand why there's some homes that are valuable and other homes that might be less valuable, even though they look the same on paper. So new agents really hurt you that way as a buyer because they just don't have the skill set or the uh, experience. Number two, as a seller, now you have all these new agents in there saying, hey, pick me, pick me. I look at how cool I am on social media and on TikTok. And, and honestly, I do TikTok and I do social media and I think uh, um, actually it's done pretty well. And I've been doing it now for several years. So I understand what works and what doesn't. And I actually hire people that make uh, it even better than what I could produce on my own. This report, this is a show and these reports are part of my social media. But so as a seller, you're looking at an agent, a new agent out there, and maybe you might not want to necessarily uh, hire that new agent, but they're your brother-in-law or they're a cousin or something. That hurts you. It hurts you. It doesn't help them at all um, uh, because they can't really service you. So all they can do is give you a better price, but price is not value. You get what you pay for. A lot of times when you hire a professional to handle one of your most valuable and important assets and transactions, that's exactly what you're doing is hiring a professional to handle one of your most important and valuable assets. Um, new agents are just not skilled for that. It takes experience. It takes understanding. It takes understanding how to look at a mortgage pre-approval, how to understand what the other attorney is, how to understand the market conditions. As you see later in this show, I do market updates weekly, weekly market updates. This market changes each and every week. Interest rates change each and every week. Buyer, buyer uh, purchase power, therefore, changes every week. Seller position changes every week. It's all supply and demand. You need an expert who understands the market. So when you say, see here, real estate agents outnumber homes for sale nationwide, that makes me nervous for buyers and sellers out there who don't understand that, um, you know, that, that supply of agents isn't really doing them a favor. It's actually hurting them. This is this week's discussion point.